Hello, I'm Offsick, and welcome to episode 16 of Blockheads. Uh, I just killed two of my bees, and I've got to breed these guys pretty soon. They're all mad at me. That's really disappointing. <laughs> and you know how it happens. I was doing my intro, punching around, and I punched a bee right in the face. Hello, I'm Offsick. Oh, no. I don't feel too great about that. <laughs> it really hurts my feelings. It's like I just destroyed that bee's life, poor thing. Uh, actually, two or three of them, so... I guess I'll just have to collect some more bees, I don't know. I thought to begin off today's episode by going to the castle, because Hex did something pretty special for us. If we were to come into this balcony, which I love, you just fly right in here, and there's personal bedrooms on either side of this hallway. We've got Hex's set up already, he's got a couple of cats in here, you know, nice little painting, his banner. Oh, fancy. Really fancy. A little window, you know, you can look at the, uh, look at the sunset. Sweet hex. Ah, oh, sweet as sweet rolls. But anyways, on the other side is my bedroom, and he left me to do decorations. I've already got my materials prepared. Uh, you know, a few different decorations to try out. And I think these are just personal shulker boxes I'm going to leave in here, so. Yeah, first project. Let's jump into it. Rather small, but extremely fun. So we went from an empty room to this. Oh, doesn't that look fresh and poppy? We got a bunch of stuff crammed in here just to make it look pretty. Uh, but let me go through some of this stuff. We got an armor stand, you know. This is a neat little trick, putting it into glass box. It just kind of tucks its way in the corner. We don't have to worry about, you know, destroying it by accident by some weird chance. It just looks cooler in glass to me. And the bed frame, you know, it kind of fit in, put in some trap doors, done some curvature for the little canopy on top of it, you know, banners to make it look fancy. Uh, nice vibe when you're sleeping in here. Hey, let's take a nap, let's take a nap. Ah, how about that? Cozy, mm-hmm. We should have plenty of light too. Get a bunch of lanterns in and a little bamboo. Uh, done a lot of the old tricks, but then we got some new tricks like variation and trap door height. This is actually bamboo, so we don't have to worry about this thing growing and looking weird and out of place in here. Uh, how to fit the cactus in, so brought this one up, and it's just kind of like some weird neat decor, which I could probably still put something on top of this, but I'll wait. I, I probably won't even do it. I think it actually looks pretty good as it is. I just noticed that I've got my own personal balcony. Isn't this nice? You could just take off the elytra. Hex has got his personal balcony, and I'm not sure, is this his storage space? I just realized that that was my storage closet too. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I got my own storage space. Well, I'm gonna fill this one up too, I guess. Oh no, we need storage. What do we do? Oh, no worries. We've got it covered right here across the hallway. Get a bunch of chests and barrels in. And of course my tap, you need your tap. Yeah, why not, you know? And let's say I wanted something more. I can always use a furnace, I could use my inner chest and my crafting table. But I like to keep it kind of hidden, just because it looks nicer as like an overall tap. Of course, this, you just gotta get over it. <laughs> Cause I need my storage up here. You never know when I'm gonna come up here and use this stuff, so. I tend to use these personal bedrooms a lot more than anticipated. So I'll probably be up here from time to time, but that one's cleaned off. Now there's a couple of different things that we need to get to. I don't know if I wanna do it this episode, I might. I might do it off camera and then just show off what I had done. But I've got some other rooms I've got to decorate on this floor. We've got a bunch of different offices. Ooh, it's like dorms too. It's got like the nice slant. Be an interesting build to get to. I think we've got about six of these rooms and they just continue up this way. Now there's four, four so far. Now there's six, I was correct. And then of course this hallway, which kind of just stops and it looks like it might be at the top of the water elevator. Oh, above the water elevator, but where does this go again? I don't think I've been up here. Oh, to the towers. Fancy. Now obviously there's a lot of work to do when it comes to building and blockheads, but I do like my farming as well. So I thought I'd come over to the tech island, finish off a couple of projects that need to be cleaned up, like this cactus farm, the sugarcane farm, me and Hex had thrown this together and we just needed these resources really bad, really fast. But I want to make it look nice and actually settle into the grounds, much like the super smelter 
we have over this way. And of course, got some more modern district building to do around that. But, you know, that's still a time away. We can always do a wall here and there. But we need sugarcane. I mean, it seems like I'm always struggling to get some form of fireworks. You know, it's going to sink it into the ground. Do a little bit of work with this cactus farm. It shouldn't take too long. Relatively simple farms. It's just finding that beacon to dig it out, which I think is over at the Ocean Monument. I need to work on a project to get more beacons now. That's one thing about playing with Hex. You get an automatic guardian farm to boot with him. You don't have to worry about getting materials. Uh, but not seriously, I come over here, helped him mine a bit, get him some materials. Well, at least he thinks that, but we all know we're just clearing this as much as we can for a guardian farm. Oh, it's coming in the future. Uh, hopefully it won't be so much work with maybe like a sign block machine to clear the water. But I am over here to get the beacon. That is in the future for sure. But we got a lot of it cleared and implemented into the castle. And I'm just going to leave the iron blocks here. We might actually use those. Just grabbing this beacon real quick. Now listen here, this is the down low. I'm getting sick of not having sugar cane. I've been throwing up for the past half hour just because I don't have any. I'm sick of it. I, I'm sick of mobs. The reason I want rockets so much is because I can do this, like constantly off camera. Just go up, hit things, fly away. That's all I want in Minecraft. Now they're just killing each other. Like It just worked out perfectly. Anyways, yes, we're going to allocate this entire area for a sugarcane farm, and it's gonna be like three separate modules, I believe, with minecarts to collect that loot. And it's gonna make it to where it only launches whenever the pistons initiate, so we don't have to worry so much about those minecarts getting stuck in unloaded chunks. I think they'll solve it for the most part, unless we just leave at the same time that they're collecting. Uh, I'm hoping that's not gonna be a case at some point in the future, but it shouldn't be too hard to fix because it's only three separate modules. Nothing stacked, we can get in there pretty easily. Uh, may want to do just a little bit of decoration. So I'm probably going to use terracotta, just it's easier. So there's a chance I could be really lucky. You know, I, I could have been a 2 million IQ waffle somehow and stored a bunch of terracotta back here in this spare storage that I'd use for collecting all the junk that was inside of these freaking hills. So, I've got a bunch of stone in here. Uh, I had some terracotta, but yeah, that's standard terracotta. You know, I'm, I'm going to contribute to this. Uh, I forgot this was here until just a moment ago. I was like, wait a second, I might... Ah. It appears it's only stone. <laughs> 42 pieces of undyed terracotta. Wait, we're getting closer. There's a little bit. <laughs> This makes me a little bit sad. I mean, if I ever need stone, then it's here. I've got eight pieces in there. Uh, every bit counts. What can I say? Oh, that's a big bummer, though. I mean, for a particular type of terracotta, just standard terracotta or hardened clay, whatever you want to say. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit tough to find. Now, I may have put some in these chests over here. It's just going to save me a million hours, you know? Like, I don't mind mining up terracotta, it's pretty simple, but I might be exaggerating just a little bit. Now, there we go. Hey? Hey? Lucky Waffle, 2 million IQ, what can I say? Only a few stacks. Gonna have to get more, but not as much. So the good news, I managed to find some more blocks, but unfortunately for the bad news, we don't have enough to cover the floor. It hurts my soul a little bit. I might have to do just a little bit more mining just to get this covered up. Now, for the walls, I might want to do something different. And I wanted to do a design in these blocks. It's not going to be straight up solid, I don't think. It just looks kind of crummy, especially whenever you're in this area a lot. I wouldn't mind so much if we didn't see this. But we're going to be seeing a lot of that. And personally, I appreciate the different color spectrum that we've done for the Super Smelter. I just think it looks more pleasant when you're over here. Really, like... Makes everything pop, too. I like the white inside of it. Uh, so, more mining to come for me. And maybe some more resource collection for the walls. If it's not obvious, I am no design perfectionist. I mean, it's it looks okay. There's a lot of noise going on, but eh, nothing fancy. Just got some green. Now, if I were to fly up in the sky to look at it from above, it changes just a little bit. 
Ah, look at that pattern. Looks pretty cool. Use like the arrow method, just some nice diagonals to line it up and give it some noise. Now, I think that does look great. Uh, definitely interesting. It's like I picked up too many mushrooms in Minecraft or something. Uh, and, you know, it's not completely symmetrical. It just, that's, I pulled a waffle. You know, I got one block over there and I got three blocks over there. Not really a big deal because we're going to be filling this thing up with a bunch of machines. You know, it's going to be running. No one's going to care about this. Uh, but for the gaps that you can see through, at least it will be looking cool. You know, I don't know if we're going to be able to look past the sugarcane farm, but no biggie. You know, just got it done. A lot of materials went into that. And somehow I managed to avoid mining for resources. I just gathered it all at the base. Isn't that wonderful? Ooh, that sound effect. It still gets me to this day. And 1.16 is about to release. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this mechanism in there and we'll be finished. So we're all time lapse. So, after a rather long process, we finally got it done. Here it is. I've done the testing. I've worked everything out. There's only one thing I need to do to it, and that is implement some lighting in the middle. I mean, it's a little bit lighted here, but it's just not enough. There's still mobs that will spawn. Uh, we've got two observers. We've got the observer that detects change, and that will activate this half of the farm. We've got an observer for this other half. And those initiate circuits for the collection system that send the mine carts out, which we could take a look at. But man, am I loving this. It's like so sci-fi look. I love it. It just looks like a computer or something in, in the ground. So if we were to just go down here, this is where the collection system is. And I put, you know, some time and effort to making it look clean and keeping everything rather functional. I mean, all these mine carts get shot off whenever the sugar cane gets dropped or broken. Picks up all the sugarcane and brings it back to an observer clock for a dispensing mechanism. Uh, pretty simple. I got access to this too. So we got all of them back here, these modules, which I just continue to use. I cannot get off these things. I use them for like every item collection system now. Oh no, it's thundering in Minecraft. Anyways, here's a water elevator to storage. And this is just temporary. I actually have some plans later on. Got a little bit of sugarcane in there. I've done just, you know. A little bit of testing, not much. We still got a lot to test on this bad boy, but for the most part, for the primary elements, we've got it all tested and it is fully functional. Oh, I love that. When you actually, you're able to test it, everything checks out and you don't have to do much to it. I had to rearrange some minecart tracks, but for the most part, it worked. So that one's out of the way. We now have a sugarcane farm, which was much needed. I think me and Hex both needed it. I'm going to sleep. We're going to head over to the castle and I'm going to show you what I've been doing over there. It appears something else is happening over here at the castle as well. Mmm. That's going to look beautiful once he gets it all in. Oh, he's even doing the bridge and everything. Did he do the natural terraform? I think he did. He done the natural terraform on the hillside or it might have been this piece, but it looks like he done it. Looks good. Good job, Hex. It looks very natural. Now, for my project, I was supposed to do some of the dorms at the top of the castle, which I have done. And I've done that about a week ago, uh, before I even started Sugarcane Farm. I was on the kill some time, and it is, I think, the next floor. 
I tried to put a lot of thought into it, tried to make it look very cool. Uh, we were to walk in. Now, this is going to be like if you were thinking about lore, this would be like the primary specialists in the castle. So you've got different things. First, we've got like maybe a herbalist or or something. You know, it, it doesn't give you like an exact clue of what things are. I'm going to have to maybe clean some of those vines up. Uh, but I would guess this is like a herbalist, uh, maybe like something off Botanist, you know? You know, Botania. Yeah, I got to throw in a mod every once in a while. Uh, this is like the wizard's keep. So this is where your court wizard would be. Took a lot of inspiration from Skyrim because that's what I've been playing lately. Uh, loaded that thing with mods and I've just been going crazy on it. Here is the armorer's area. Uh, kind of cool. And you'll notice that everyone kind of has their little, own little personalities. Like he might like plants on the side or something. So I threw that in. I went pretty lore deep in on this. Uh, I kind of feel like it's not exactly in your face that it's there, but if you were to look around in the rooms, everyone kind of has their own quirks. And so this is the engineer's room, uh, and you know, he likes his pranks, so I thought to do just like a little redstone mechanism, so you would have like this chest locking system, it's like over the top. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of cool though, it's a little engineer's room. And you know, this all fit in here perfectly, This the ideas just came pouring in what you could do. Here is like a little quarters area just in case they wanted to stay at the castle overnight. This isn't their like permanent rooms, some of them anyways. Uh, this is the, I think, I wanted to make some kind of monster hunter or a bestiary. I think that's what it was, a bestiary. I kind of wanted to go for that, so I put in some heads for different creatures and he studies them at his desk. Got some other tidbits, kind of cool, he's got a picture of a creeper. <laughs> I don't know exactly what the banner is. But, you know, I threw it in the corner, and we are done with those dorms, finally. Those have been meaning to get done. I think on my personal agenda, I'm going to pursue some answers about this, and just see how big Hex is willing to go. <laughs> like, it's going to be pretty cool. I think this is going to look really nice once he has, like, the nice bridge in that connects the two, and it hides a lot, too. So if you have that bridge in, you're not going to see a lot happening back here until you explore it. And I think that's my favorite part of the castle. It looks really beautiful from the outside, but actually exploring all the corridors and seeing what it's all about really makes for a nice build. But I think that's going to be about it for today's episode, guys. Hope you did enjoy watching. We'll see you next episode. Have a fantastic day.